Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Blue Ice Talks. Today, I'm going to be summarising the results of the MK John Wilson Trophy in Sheffield. There have been other smaller events this past week, but I'd like to focus on just this for this episode. There will also be a summary of changes to the Grand Prix series assignments at the end. I'm sorry that this video is late, but I was at the event in Sheffield and didn't get home until today, so I will have a little section discussing my experiences. The video will be divided into sections, so it's up to you which you'd like to watch and which ones you want to skip. The MK John Wilson Trophy was the fourth event in the 2022-2023 Grand Prix series, and it was the first Grand Prix event to be held in the UK. It was the replacement for the Cup of China. In the Ice Dance event, for the second week in a row, the Italian skaters Charlene Guinard and Marco Fabri took the gold medal by over eight points and have qualified for the final in Torino. The home favourites, British skaters Lila Fear and Lewis Gibson took the silver, and I think that they've also done enough to qualify for the Grand Prix final, but I'm not 100% sure on this. The Canadians, Marjorie Lowry and Zachary Laha took the bronze again, coming close to 200 total points. In the pairs event, the reigning world champions Alexa Kniram and Brandon Frazier took the gold by a huge margin, earning season's best scores, and they were the only pair to go over 200 points in total. With two golds, they have also qualified for the Grand Prix final. Italian pair Sara Conti and Nicolo Macchi took the silver, and the German pair of Letizia Rocha and Louis Schuster took the bronze. In the women's event, there were a few changes after the short program, but they didn't touch the podium. Japan's Mai Mihara won the gold, earning her first ever Grand Prix gold medal. Like at Skate America, Isabel Levito from the USA won the silver, with two very solid performances. Anastasia Gubanova from Georgia took the bronze medal, less than two points ahead of Korea's Young Yu, who had a sublime free skate after making some sad revelations about her personal life during the previous season. In the men's event, two sets of history were made. For the first time, an Italian man won the gold medal, with Daniel Grassel scoring almost 10 points clear of second. Denis Vasilievs of Latvia won the silver, earning himself a standing ovation from the crowd in the UK and earning Latvia's first ever medal on the Grand Prix circuit. Shun Sato from Japan earned the bronze medal with two strong skates, placing above his compatriots Koshiro Shimada and Tatsuya Tsuboi. Canada's Roman Sadowski was at first in the short programme, and judging by the crowd's reaction, he was first in their hearts too. In ice dance, Charlene Guinard and Marco Fabri have guaranteed themselves a spot at the Grand Prix final with 30 points. Fear and Gibson are currently in second with 26, and Lahari and Laha have 22. L'Oreal and Legarque have 18, as do Dumogio and Le Messier, and Gilles and Poirier round out the top six with their 15 points. Madison Chock and Evan Bates, currently ranked 7th, will be competing at the NHK Trophy next week as will the silver and bronze medalists from the Grand Prix de France. In pairs, Niram and Frazier have also guaranteed themselves a spot at the Grand Prix final with 30 points. Stellato and Dudek and Deschamp have 28 points and are also, I think, guaranteed a spot. Conti and Macchi are next with 24 points, followed by Mira and Kihara with 15, Mokova and Mokov with 14, and Chan and Hoe with 13. Mira and Kihara... Chan and Hoi, Kovalev and Kovalev, and Hoka and Kunkel are all skaters who will be competing next week that have won medals on the Grand Prix circuit already. In women's, having won silver at both her events and almost certainly qualified for the final, Isabel Levito is ranked first with 26 points. After her is Young Yu with 20 points, followed by Hei and Lee with 18. After that are three of the champions, all with 15 points. Kari Sakamoto, Mai Mihara, and Loena Hendricks. At the NHK Trophy next week, Kaori, Rinka, Yelim, Star, Amber, and Rion are all skaters competing that have already won medals on the Grand Prix circuit. In men's, having won silver in both his events and almost certainly qualifying for the final, Kao Miura is ranked first with 26 points. After him is Daniel Grassel, who is likely to have qualified for the final with 24 points. After that is Ilya Malinin, 
Shoma Uno and Adam Sial Himfal with 15 points, followed by Zdenis Vasilievs with 13. At the NHK Trophy next week, Shoma, Adam, Sota, Junhuan, Matteo and Kazuki are all skaters competing that have already won medals on the Grand Prix circuit so far. At Sheffield, I had an amazing time. I still cannot believe that I managed to meet such amazing people like Dennis, Daniel, Scott Moyer, Roman Sadowski, Lila and Lewis, and Gabrielle Delman, to name a few. A big personal shout out to Roman, who, when I gave him a hug and took a photo with him, complimented my BTS hoodie and said that I could title this video how I have. I'm sure everyone watching my videos already has, but if you haven't, go and subscribe to his YouTube channel. I've linked it in the description below. On the off chance any of the skaters watch this, thank you so much for the amazing performances you all gave. There have again been some changes to the Grand Prix assignments. I won't go over the change to the MK John Wilson Trophy as the event has now passed. The Czech pair have withdrawn from the NHK Trophy. At the Grand Prix of Espel, the Georgian pair of Karina Safina and Luka Berulava have withdrawn and have been replaced by the Swedish pair Greta Crawford and John Crawford. Next week there is the Challenger Series Warsaw Cup, which is being held in Poland from the 17th to the 20th of November and has events for all senior disciplines. There is also the fifth event of the ISU Grand Prix Series, the NHK Trophy, held in Sapporo, Japan from the 18th to the 20th of November and also has events for all four senior disciplines. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to everyone who sent me feedback on the videos via social media. I really appreciate the comments and will keep trying to improve these. As I said before, studying is getting more intense for me, but I will do my best to keep this going. If there's anything you'd like to add to my summary or that you'd like me to change, please let me know in the comments. My card with my links is in the description, along with the links to the results I displayed. See you in the next one.